next project on the docket is to get the pump and main board on this hot tub replaced. It just went out and I ordered parts here. This is a 48, um, I forget what they call it. It's a waterway, there's all the serial information and I'll put it in the comments just in case anybody else runs into the same issue. I'm using a Balboa controller and so got this new board and new pump and try putting it in. So I think my first step is going to be to remove the board before I put the new one in then go in for this because I don't know how easy this is going to be to remove. It's pretty rusty down there. So let's start with that. Getting this out, make sure I get lots of pictures. I've already turned off the breaker, so let's get started. So I got the board out. There are screws here, there, in each of the corners, and then the corners down here. And there are screws on this edge here. Like, I think I took out that one, that one, that, and there's, I think, just one here. Can't see it, but uh, that does hold the, the wires in, and then you put a piece across it. So I got it out, found that the board I have is a little bit different. You just got to match what you had before. So I'm going to next move to this. We got the... Uh, hot tub drained so just gotta remove these unions which I'm not looking forward to at all and then so it'll be that one and then that one and I'm not looking forward to that at all um, and then remove these rusted to crap bolts or screws um, on I haven't looked at the other side yet, but I bet you there's one back there. So Give that a go got the first union off as you can tell here and It looks different because I took the um, Portion that threads on here off and most of the time you can't do that But they make unions for hot tubs um, Like this one's not one that you can do that, but this one is See how it has a screw there? I'll show you this one because I already have it apart. There are screws that go in here. It actually goes in on that side and screws in and then you can just split them apart. Next is to remove this one which doesn't have this one right there which doesn't have a screw type union so i'm gonna have to use a screwdriver and hope that i don't break it so those little uh, ribs or parts that come up you can hit them with a screwdriver and a flathead uh, uh, sorry a flathead and a hammer and hopefully break it loose this is an older tub and it may break and I may end up be having to buy another one of those types to put there. So I got the Union loose and I was hoping to show you just quickly how to use a flathead and a hammer. I'm using a mallet in this instance. Hoping I don't get in the way too much. But what you do is get that right there and then just start hitting it away. Surprisingly, I didn't have to hit it very hard and it came loose, so I was very happy about that. Typically things don't go that way for me. So now they're both free and off to the part I'm not looking forward to. It's trying to remove these rusty bits for the pump. I'm hoping that it looks like one of them may be stainless. That one on the right side does not look stainless or it's just covered with junk maybe 
we can see I can't tell hopefully maybe you guys can tell but I'll have to take a picture see if there's one back there I'm hoping not so I got those two screws out. Looks like there's nothing on that back side. So lucky me, this this board is pretty rotten. I'd like to replace the wood down there, but that will add some some work on all this other stuff. So I got the pump out of the back or out of there, and this had the cover on it right here undid the screw here and then kind of had to knock it with the mallet to get this to move and now it's out just taking some video of what the wires look like it's just gonna be these three so it should be pretty easy so I can connect them to the new one so I took off the pins from these three and moved them over to the new one and now it's time to put this back in I ended up uh, removing this whole cord from here it just went from down here and wrapped around to the back of this and then went into these slots so I'm gonna get that back in there and then wrapped back around try to get the new board back in and then We'll see if we can fire it up after I get the new seals on these. So I got these three unions back on. I think this one. I put new gaskets on this one and that one. And then this one still looked good. But I tightened it really hard compared to what I think it was at last time. Um, I'm hoping it'll not leak now. I got this back in, but just the screws in. I haven't added anything. All these wires that are connected, I just copied from the old controller. This board looks like it works for a bunch of different types. So it just, the configuration is kind of what um, dictates what it can be used for. It's time to start plugging everything else back in. Took lots of pictures and a video of it before from a bunch of different angles so I can go back and plug it back into where it's supposed to go. Got everything connected and filling it back up with water at least enough to oh gotta turn this so it doesn't start kind of draining as I'm filling it. That'd be dumb. Um but got it all back together gonna fill it up and then it's gonna be the moment of truth hopefully nothing explodes so I got everything zipped back up uh, put the cover back on it and set it to 104 last night and went to bed and when I came back out it's now saying 104 looks like everything worked well pretty excited Saved myself a thousand bucks. Um, and then also, I, it just dripped off from the snow, but um, there was leaks in these pipes before I did this work. And now, besides the drips from the top of the cover, uh, it's now dry. So super excited that everything's working as it should now. Thanks for watching.